So this is um, a pedicure that I had on February 2013 um, and this was at a local um, nail bar in North London. Um, the whole pedicure, um, including a file, which you're not going to see, cost £20. Um, so uh, when I had this done, I hadn't had my foot in water for very long before they started having a go at my nails. Um, and it wasn't painful, but it did feel as though the skin wasn't quite soft enough. Um, there's, yeah, there's always something a little bit um, sinister about the surgical gloves and all the surgical implements that come out in this sort of pedicure. Um, although you sort of want them to bring out those tools because they're the ones that are going to get your feet sorted. Um, but it, it's not the most dignified process, I have to say. Um, but this is the stuff that I would never do at home because walking into Superdrug and be buying these sorts of pincers for taking off skin around the nail um, feels a little bit hardcore, whereas having it done at a salon um, by people who know what they're doing, it, it doesn't feel as weird. So this wasn't particularly painful. I mean, they're just sort of nipping skin off. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but the other foot's probably easier because um, it's still in the water, so it's got some more time to soften. Okay, again, this isn't particularly comfortable because you've got this huge block um, <laughs> coming over your foot to sort of buff your toes. And it doesn't feel particularly thorough. I'm not quite sure whether it's meant to make your nails smoother or it's meant to take off any other bits of skin. Um, the water that my feet were in was pretty hot. Um, and... You know, the colour is lurid, it's not particularly relaxing, um, but you just, you know, you, this is whole part and parcel of these types of pedicures. Okay, so here we go, <laughs> here we go with the, the razor. Um, this I find incredibly ticklish on the balls of my feet and in fact you can't hear it because I've turned the sound off but I was in hysterics I was shaking <laughs> and it was just so ticklish and um, I mean what what is good about the razor is much it's much less ticklish on the heel is that um, again it's the bit of the pedicure one of the bits of the pedicure that's very hard to do at home because it really does flake off the skin you can't really see on the camera but there's basically sort of confetti foot confetti coming off um it's not particularly nice again you've got a sort of very surgical looking implement they take out the blade they dip it in disinfectant they use a different blade for each person obviously um and um you know it's not is not nice. Um, it looks disgusting, um, and it feels. Well, there you can see some skin on the towel. It just feels a bit gross. Um, and the way he used his hand was interesting because he'd feel to see if he thought he'd take enough of, enough of the skin off. So it's not just about sort of rubbing the tool all over your foot and hoping for the best. He actually checked his work quite regularly and kept going till he felt it was done. Um, I think that my heel was pretty soft after the pedicure, but because I'm so ticklish and the metal just really tickled the ball of my foot, I don't think the skin was as well removed further up at the top of my foot. They also don't, they don't look particularly pretty, these implements. Um, they look a bit like they, for purposes of torture. Um, so what he did here is he sort of put on some exfoliating gel onto a pumice. Um, again, it's sort of a bit brutal. It's, it's not very ergonomic. Um, 
you're being oh, it's like he's cleaning a car really um, and I think that this helps even out the filing he's done so that um, you get a bit more of a refined um, finish but it's it really is a bit rubber dub dub and the gel um, I'm not sure if the gel is a particularly great exfoliant it's it's basically a very hard loofah. It's not painful. There I am laughing. It's not painful, but it's not that nice. This um, this footstool as well felt quite unstable. I think it held up during the pedicure, but it felt as though it could sort of um, collapse at any minute. So again, this was incredibly ticklish. I was probably shaking with laughter at this point. And I know they've seen it all before, the, the men and women who do pedicure. This was actually a guy, but... Um, you do sort of wonder what do they think sat there with all this foot coming off. It's a very sort of standardised process. I mean, I've had this sort of thing done before and you would expect to go into a particular type of nail bar and get the same sort of ordering of things, exactly the same things done to your feet. It's very function. It's sort of, I'm going on holiday next week, better sort them out and go for a cheapy you know, foot jobby um, to sort out to sort out the feet beforehand. See here again, he was being really thorough with checking what was happening with the skin. When it happens the second time round, you sort of dread it because you know what's coming. <laughs> It looks quite uncomfortable, but actually with the chairs and the way that they hold your feet, you feel quite well supported. I had quite a lot of gunk left on my foot after that. Look, you can see the, the towel. So here he's taking off the razor. You know, the handle goes straight back on the buggy of products, which I don't know. I suppose he's not using that bit um, when he's doing the pedicure. And then I'm not sure if this is going to be in the shot, but he actually sort of tips all the skin into a little bin next to him, um, which isn't very nice to look at. So this is the sort of, I guess, relaxation bit. So he sorted out the dry skin and then I got some kind of um, a massage. Um, I felt like a hot dog here and with the mustard. <laughs> so uh, I'm a bit um, ambivalent about this stuff. The lotion was quite cheap and nasty and the massage wasn't that relaxing, especially up the leg. <laughs> because he's just been sort of doing quite functional stuff, you're not really in that mode of thinking, oh, now I'll, I'll just switch off and relax. You're... You're sort of thinking, well, come on, let's kind of finish this. <laughs> um, let's get the polish on. I want to leave now. And then he did some, I don't know if it was reflexology, but he gave me a kind of foot massage, which was a bit more thorough than you would usually get. Um, it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't that relaxing, though. It didn't feel here as though he was really kind of 
de-stressing and relieving tension. It was just a bit strange. Oh yeah, and then he hit my foot. This wasn't painful, but it was a bit like, oh, all right, then I don't don't really feel the benefit here. Um, then we get the same with the other leg. Oh yes, so um, that's the other thing. They wear a mask, obviously, because um, in this nail salon as well, they do quite a lot with um, sort of nail, fake nails and chemicals. So they all wear masks, um, but it, it does add to the slightly sinister environment. In a way, though, it depersonalizes it so you don't feel as embarrassed. So perhaps it's not such a bad thing. You know, and this is sort of going through the motions and thinking, "Get please, just let's move on." He was, you know, he was giving quite a fast massage. It was very much, you know, however long, one minute each side, and then that's your lot. Here we go with the hitting again. Um, he didn't really say anything during this. When I was in fits of giggles, he thought it was very funny, um, but there there wasn't any um, any chat. And in a lot of these nail bars, obviously English is the second or third language of the people doing the treatment, so you would you wouldn't really get into a conversation, and they don't talk you through what they're doing. It's all kind of conducted in silence, and they point at your foot when they want you to put it back in the water. Um, so we're pretty much near the end because he's just putting on the flip flops and nail dividers um, for to get ready for the polish bit.